The Kenya government uh, has always been very concerned how to empower women and the, one of the efforts that came out very clearly as early as 2006 is an affirmative action fund. This is where the government consulted through participatory approach and decided if you really want them to empower women, empower them first economically. The WESO fund is given to women, youth, and people living with disability at the constituency level. That is right on the ground, and the people are able to do their small businesses, and the affirmative fund has no um, interest, it's a grant. They are supposed to pay, but has no interest rates. Tulianza na pesa kidogo ilikuwa yetu, baadae tukapata pesa kutoka uweso fund. Tulipata 70,000. Tulipata hiyo 70,000. Hata diyo sasa kazi kawa kubwa, na diyo tukawa na nini, tukaanza kutafta hizo kazi za shule traders. Maybe tunapata tenda kama ya mitungi, kama 20, 30, 40. Kwa mitungi kama 40, ukona pesa hapo kama 10,000 na kitu. Mimi nisaidia sana kwa sababu hata mimi niko na watoto pia na wanasoma niko na wasichana wawili wa Kaudia University na imenisaidia sana Our group is started year 2008 we have already got Tabitha and Lucy we started recruiting the recruiting groups so one time she came and told me, Mary, you do all this, why don't you come for me so far? Then she, she narrated how we can join as groups. So from the group, I brought the news to them and said, we can go for me so far. Now that you don't pay anything, you only get the amount and you pay back the same amount. We decided to fill the forms. We filled some forms. Then later we took to the office. After some, a very short time, we were called in that we have been granted the, the, the 8,000. We had 8,000. I've been doing bid work for the last like 10 years, so I decided now I can open a shop. So I decided to go to Nairobi, I buy products and I come and put in my shop. So all these products you are seeing is through my hands. I normally do them myself and also I empower women like her, she's one of them that I've empowered and they do bid work here. To me personally it did help me because I took the 20,000. 15,000 I kept, I put back in my business and then the 5,000 I started a pottery project which I still disciple it until today. The Women Enterprise Fund looks at women who have formed groups and have a clear proposal of the small business they want to go into and then they are given those resources and when they are given these loans which have got very low interest rates, rates they are also given a business development capacity building so that they can be able to make maximum use of the funds that they get. Uh, we started with 100,000 when we, we took the 100,000, we brought it to the chama because we also doing some, some temple banking. Then we realized it, we could not do one big business for the chama. So we, we gave them to the members to go and do business. Personally, from that amount, I got 30,000 and uh, I earned some small amount for myself. So I bought 300 chicken for layers. And the, actually, that, is, that has been like a starting point for me to grow because that is the biggest I've ever done as far as chicken has been, as is concerned. I've been doing like 100, 15, depending on the cash flow. You don't pay with any interest. So what you're thinking is the, the minimum amount you're paying at the end of every month. In the future, I, I see myself big, uh, a big woman, you know, an entrepreneur who is supplying big hotels and big chicken and other things. So I'm looking like one day if I have a big land, somewhere I can do real, real farming. I will do it to the best of my knowledge. The first time I, I knew WEF it was through Precious Daughters Self Help Group, of which we applied for a loan starting from a hundred thousand. Uh, 
we established, uh, they gave me a loan as a member and I started my own business, photocopy machine, cyber cafe, actually I started like that. What I got uh, from that, I invested through this business, Mandera Hotel, and it picked. On the other side, uh, an answer self-help group situated in Naivasha, Muslim women group, I introduced to them and they got a hundred thousand and they, they uplifted their living, standard of living, through this money. And actually this time they want to take a lot of money from me. I'm happy also to report to the National Government Affirmative Fund which is normally uh, channeled through the women representative, women MPs who are representative of the county. It's also another affirmative fund that has proved very, very useful because with the leadership of women pre representative for every county, they are able to get about Kenya shillings 7 million, which they use for every constituency to support uh, uh, women and also people living with disability. We realized the importance of NGAF when we wanted to start the project. We didn't have enough equipment like the aluminium cans, cooling plants, refrigerators, and ATM milk machines, and that's when we got our first funding from NGAF. Now we have 13 milk collection points. On our second funding from GAF, we purchased a vehicle and camels that are in our homesteads. We got this tractor in 2016 through our then woman representative Aisha Jumwa. She also leased 10 acres of land for farming. The tractor is helping us in farming and the piece of land, we use it to cultivate maize, watermelon and even green grams. We have benefited because after harvesting, we usually distribute the surplus among the group members and sell the rest to get money to send our kids to school and take care of other expenses. Initially, we used to sell our fish in the sun, but since they erected these sheds, we feel so good because we don't get rained on or scorched by the sun. So after six months, we have to qualify for a higher loan. Uh, we, we invested in that, the 100, Kalipa, we have a category of and uh, the 200, we have to invest in the business of So right now, we have to level 400. To appeal to the youth and the women who are here, you must go out, you must look, you must knock on doors so that you can be able to get some fun which you can go and do business and help yourself and your children.